You know, I recall before Biden got into office, we were back practically begging people, mainly the so-called black Americans not to vote Democrat. But yet the so-called black Americans were so conditioned and brainwashed by the mainstream media, the Trump hating media. And they claim to hate Donald Trump so much that they sacrifice their own lives. I recall asking the question, do you guys have any idea what communism is or what socialism is? The Democrats made the so-called black Americans think that communism and socialism was a good thing. Socialism, government help, government dependent, and now we're in a situation where people can hardly support themselves. They're being kicked out of their homes. They're paying high gas prices. They can't buy food in the supermarket. They're trying to disarm legal citizens while at the same time releasing criminals from prison. I said a long time ago on YouTube that the Democrats are trying to take America where communist China is or where you have com countries that uh, line people up, the criminals, and execute them like what we've seen the so-called terrorists do in the Middle East. That's where America is going if it's not stopped, okay? Because first they have to get people unarmed. They have to be able to take your guns away from you. Now, I want you guys to watch a video. This female is talking about the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, the Democrats have a fancy way of putting things to get what they want. They have a good way of, they know how to deceive the so-called Democratic fan base. They know how to deceive you. They need black and brown people's votes. But they know exactly what to say and do to get you to vote for them so that they can pass their agenda. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got everything to do with them trying to remain in power. But I want you guys to listen to something. This is for you black people, you Democrats, that claim to hate Trump, that think Trump is a racist, that think Trump is trying to destroy this nation. Look at what Biden is doing in the so-called Inflation Reduction Act. It's got nothing to do with reducing inflation, but it's got everything to do with power and control over the American people. Look at what's happening with the IRS agents that they are about to hire. Mr. Speaker, isn't it so? Joe Biden himself said inflation rate is at zero percent. So what the heck are we doing here? Why are we passing this so-called Inflation Reduction Act if it's at zero percent? Well, in fact, it's the Inflation Enhancement Act. Gentlewoman's time has expired. And it does the exact opposite of what Americans need right now. This is just another con game by the Democrats calling something one thing and saying time another. Has expired. This is making the IRS with time agents has expired. larger than the Pentagon. The State the woman, Department. Gentlewoman is no won. longer recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves the bell. Mr. Speaker, how much time do you need? The gentlewoman is no longer recognized. Her time has expired. The gentleman from Missouri reserves. I will yield an additional 30 seconds to the gentlelady from Colorado to finish General her woman, comments. The gentleman is recognized for an additional 30 seconds. This bill hires 87,000 new IRS agents, and they are armed, and the job description tells them that they need to be required to carry a firearm and expect to use deadly force if necessary. Excessive taxation is theft, and the chairman said that we are using the power of the federal government in this bill. You're darn right you are. You're using the power of the federal government for armed robbery on the taxpayers. I can only see why that this was rushed through committee and put on the floor. Gentlewoman's time has expired. Somewhere Gentlewoman's time has expired. Bill. She is no longer recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves. The gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. 
let me ask you guys a question. With all of these so-called mass shootings and with Democrats saying how bad guns are and how they're trying to ban firearms and take the firearms not out of the hands of the criminals, but out of the hands of legal gun owners. They are even now attacking law enforcement and military, saying that military off-duty police officers, for example, here in the New York State Fair, off-duty police officers are not allowed to carry their firearms. Off-duty fire uh, police officers not allowed to carry their off-duty firearms at the state fair. So this is what they're doing to military and police. But yet they're going to arm IRS agents to come and stick you up. Did you hear what this woman said? They want to commit armed robbery on American citizens. They got guns, but you are not allowed to have them. You can't even go to a public park with your legal firearm. But yet IRS agents, why do they need guns? Why do IRS agents need guns against American taxpayers? Ones that are paying their paycheck. So guys better wake up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play I'm going to play that video again. I want you guys to listen to this woman. Mr. Speaker, isn't it so? Joe Biden himself said inflation rate is at 0%. So what the heck are we doing here? Why are we passing this so-called Inflation Reduction Act if it's at 0%? Well, in fact, it's the Inflation Enhancement Act. Gentlewoman's time has expired. And it does the exact opposite of what Americans need right now. This is just another con game by the Democrats calling something one thing and saying time another. Has expired. This is making the IRS, which armed agents time has expired. than the Pentagon, the State the woman, Department. The gentlewoman is no longer recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves the belt. Mr. Speaker, how much time do you need? The gentlewoman is no longer recognized. Time Her time has expired. The gentleman from Missouri reserves. I will yield an additional 30 seconds to the gentlelady from Colorado to finish General her woman, comments. Gentlemen is recognized for an additional 30 seconds. This bill hires 87,000 new IRS agents and they are armed and the job description tells them that they need to be required to carry a firearm and expect to use deadly force if necessary. Excessive taxation is theft and the chairman said that we are using the power of the federal government in this bill. You're darn right you are. You're using the power of the federal government for armed robbery on the taxpayers. I can only see why that this was rushed through committee and put on the floor. Gentlewoman's time has expired. Somewhere Gentlewoman's time has expired. Bill. She is no longer recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves. The gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. Feedback and tell me what you think. Until next time. I'm fearless.